subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, everybody! <gasps> Are you okay, Chucky? That's a lot of seashells. Maybe we should put them in the toy box with the sea toys. That's a great idea, Billy. Hmm, this box is already full of seashells. Maybe there's some place in this draw. Oh, it's also full of seashells. Hmm, it seems that we have collected too many seashells. Maybe we should return some of them to the ocean? Yeah, a lot of these seashells look the same anyway. We could just keep the nicest looking shells, like this big one. Huh? I think I hear someone talking, Paula. Can you hear it too? It's Mr. Octopus. He needs help in his shell garden. His shell garden? But we still have to put all this away. It's all right, Tim. We can put them away when we get back. Let's go to Underwater World. <laughs> Hello, children. Thank you for coming. Something strange has happened in my shell garden. Here is the new part I was working on yesterday. I know that I only placed three things here, but now there are more than three. So yesterday, you placed three things here. Let's count how many things there are now. One, two, two three, four. So three things became four. There seems to be one extra thing in this part of the garden. But which one is it? We have a starfish, a clam, an oyster, and a boot. They're all so different. Hmm, the starfish is red, just like the boot. If Mr. Octopus only placed red things, it means the clam and the oyster should not be here. It's just one thing here that doesn't fit, Billy. Oh, yeah. They're all of different sizes, too. If it's not the color or the size, maybe it's what the things are. The starfish is a sea creature, isn't it? Yes, I think so, Paula. And how about the clam and the oyster? They are sea creatures, too. But the boot is not a sea creature. It doesn't even come from the sea. Someone must have thrown it down here. That's right. The boot is the thing that doesn't fit with the rest. So it should be removed from the seabed. Thank you for helping me solve that puzzle, children. It was no problem at all, Mr. Octopus. Hello, Mr. Octopus. Hello, children. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Squid. Squid. I've got your shells, Mr. Octopus. Are you collecting more shells, Mr. Octopus? Well, yes. I'm making my garden bigger, so I need more shells. Are those your shells, Mr. Octo- Oh, I mean, Mr. Squid? Did you almost just call me Mr. Octopus? I don't know why everyone thinks that we're the same. I'm sorry, Mr. Octo- I mean, Mr. Squid. Oops. Now, now, Mr. Squid, you know he's not the first one to make that mistake. But I don't think we have much in common. I'm pink, and you are red. Well, you both have a lot of arms? Actually, Mr. Octopus has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arms. I have just as much arms. Great, so you have something in common. But I also have one, two tentacles. Is there really nothing that Mr. Squid and Mr. Octopus have similar? Step one. Let's look carefully at Mr. Octopus and Mr. Squid. Now, we're trying to find something similar. Oh! Aha! You just turned red, like Mr. Octopus. Was that step two, describing what I saw? <laughs> Not so fast, Tim. Mr. Squid was just blushing. Big eye, big eye. You both have really big eyes? 
That's a start, Billy. Oh, we can go with that. Yeah, I guess it works. But how about step three? Look again from different sides. Hmm, look from different sides. Yikes. Whoa! <gasps> what was that? We got frightened by the sound. That's it, Mr. Squid. That is something similar. Both of you shoot out black ink. Ah, yes, that's right. So we do have something in common. Hooray! We've helped Mr. Octopus in his shell garden, and we found something that Mr. Octopus and Mr. Squid have in common, Paula. That's right, Billy. Which means we have successfully completed our mission, and we did it with your help at home. <laughs> Today, we learned how to compare things so we can find differences and similarities. These two seashells look very similar, so we can give one of them to Mr. Octopus. And these two shells have the same shape, but one is more shiny. What do you think, Billy? I think we should give the shiny shell to Mr. Octopus. I think he would like that. That's very nice of you, Billy. Let's do that. There aren't much seashells left anymore. We're almost done. <laughs> almost, Tim. Do join us on our next adventure. Click subscribe and hit the bell icon.